Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for April 3rd through the 9th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. <clears throat> Now let's see, Saji. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, I mean, lots of focus towards um, possibly bringing something up here, building something up for you, um, something stable. But let's see. Uh, in the recent past, the Chariot, the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, lots of focus on yourself here. I see nothing else but an energy of, I. Right, it's time to do me. You know, um, that's it. That's where your focus is at, you in there. Now, in the current situation, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups. Now things are changing here because it, it looks like you're opening up your heart. There is potential for love here, uh, at least as far as your heart is concerned. So you're definitely shifting your focus more towards love. In the immediate future, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Magician, interesting because i see you manifesting something and then the energy you put out towards whatever um is quite deceptive it comes almost contradicting what you're manifesting so let's say i want what do i want let's say i truly desire a, a white bench and I go out there and I look at all the possible benches that are all the possible colors except for white, you know? Um, <clears throat> that's kind of how it's looking here. So it, it almost seems counterproductive here. So let's see, let's uh, clarify. Let me clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups, King of Swords. Right. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of determination here. I feel like with that whole period of time of working on yourself, you've reached a point of balance within yourself, of stability, of knowing exactly what you want. And I'm not sure if you've got a goal here, like a specific target in terms of adding to your stability but even if you don't you've got the determination to go get something done so it's like I, even if you're kind of in the position of i don't know where i'm going and what i'm doing but i'm not, i know i'm going to be okay in this and i know i want to add to me basically you know so definitely great energy here in that direction of your own stability creating that for yourself or even adding to that um Let's do the chariot in the recent past. The world card, the four of swords, the justice card. Yeah, it almost feels like when this energy kind of, because I feel like it came in like a train in your life, this energy of, all right, I got to do me, you know? Um, it almost feels like whatever happened before that, almost seems like it's from a different life, you know, like, oh, that's, wow, okay, that was me, okay, you know, uh, but not, not after you started working on yourself, but as this energy comes, so it's kind of like something hitting me today, and then thinking about yesterday, and being like, that was a whole different person, or a whole different life, it feels like, you know, so I don't know what the hell came here towards you, a great energy, balanced, healing, um, Almost, yeah, I feel like the universe kind of bombarded you with, with this situation for some reason. Of, okay, you need to take care of you now, you know? Let's do the Queen of Pentacles. Six 
Six of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands. Great energies. And you, I mean, what's interesting about this one is that I don't see, I don't see much resistance on your part. A lot of the times, you know, you'll find those places of, uh, you know, I don't want to go in that direction within myself because I'll probably find things that I won't like and I don't really want to do that. No, nah, you're kind of like, yeah, let's, let's do this. It feels good. It feels right. You know? And it, it, I can already see your confidence growing and, you know, your determination, your everything. So it's starting from the inside. It's starting to show on the outside pretty fast then. You know, the as within, so without is starting to show up quite fast. Cool. <clears throat> Interesting. Let's see the Knight of Cups in the current situation. You get the Three of Cups in reverse, the Six of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. So your heart is opening up, but it might open up for something in the past. You know, you're, you're probably going back there or you're trying to or you want to. Um, meh. With that six of swords there, no. Your heart is opening up in that direction, but I, I still see you kind of being like, nope, let's move on. Let's let's keep on walking here, nothing to see. But it almost feels like you're a little bit stuck there. Almost like the moving on and moving forward is not really happening because there's another energy pulling you back and it's your heart. It wants to go to back at least to something possibly from the past. And I see that not working out with the three of cups and reversed or when you left it it didn't work out <clears throat> let's do the two of cups the devil the moon the hierophant huh. yeah there's something there's something about this one though it seems like it's not working, but it seems to be here to teach you a lot of lessons, a lot of things, especially surrounding your heart. It almost feels like you kind of lay down the foundation there by working on yourself. And now it's time to bring that heart out and see what, you know, see what that brings up for you. And it definitely takes you almost, it feels like it takes you back to a situation that looks unhealthy, but it looks quite important for you because it feels like it's one of those things where you're learning a lot from, or you should be. Maybe you didn't in the past in the way you were supposed to, but now that you have your foundation, you probably are gonna be more exposed to this energy in terms of, okay, maybe it's time to learn something from it rather than jumping in it, you know? Let's do the Three of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Two of Cups. All right. So still kind of trying to figure out if this could possibly work out in a healthy way at this time. Because uh, I feel like there's desire for that to happen. Um, okay. All right. That's not the point why this is coming up for you, though. You know, that's kind of like, you know, the cherry on top. If you want to work with all of the energies that are coming up for you to learn from and then focus on this, okay. Apparently, your first go-to here is, hmm, I wonder if it will work out eventually, you know? And again, not that it's wrong or anything. It's just not the point of the situation and why it's coming up and showing you, hey, this is not healthy, you know? Um, yeah, in the bigger picture of things, maybe it's showing you that so that you can think of ways to maybe make it healthy. But it's not really up to you only. It's the both of you. But for the most part, I see these energies kind of, you know, uh, coming out so that you can look at the ways in which you love, the ways in which you are loved, you're receiving love, and all of that surrounding that. And it has to do with the situation because that's why it became possibly so toxic or so unhealthy um, to show you those things. You know, self-worth, loving yourself, all of that. Receiving love, very important one because, you know, most of us have that deficit. Um, but yeah, let's do the five of swords in the immediate future. The five of wands, the nine of pentacles, the page of pentacles. Okay. I mean, you're showing up here quite independent, you know, doing your thing on your own two feet. 
taking the world on basically you're showing up quite strong quite independent you're showing me a sign of i'm still learning um you're also even though that energy is present you're not embodying it fully you're kind of arguing with yourself for maybe some days you're like ah what self-worth you know what independent what strong i'm nothing you know um but there are days where i feel you embodying it so it's a matter of placing yourself in this energy and staying there uh for now i see you kind of arguing with yourself about it you know um so not really acknowledging this energy fully as to the eight of wands in the immediate future the four of cups the ten of pentacles the hangman this is uh, one of those things, because you showed me in the beginning of the reading, look, I have determination, I'm going to get things done, I'm going to get something going, even if, even if I don't know where I'm going. And you're receiving some sort of something, maybe communication, maybe an energy of some sort, um, but it bums you out. It's like, oh, almost like, I don't know, let's say you plan to buy a house next year, and... Um, you receive this news of, you know, the house market, it's like, okay, house market is going to be 10 times more than this year or something like that, which is, uh, but anyways, and it bums you out and it kind of takes away from your determination. It's like, uh, maybe the house is not a good example because I feel like you're going to get stuck in that example. Um, what do I want? I want to do something for me. I want to take this class of something that I feel like it will help me to, to go out there and do something for the world and for me, especially. Um, and it's been canceled and it can never be done again with whoever you want. But then somebody else might open it up or some something else might show up. Because it feels like when, when you get that kind of energy towards you, it bums you out to the point of, oh my god, it's all ruined. No, there's other alternatives. It feels like it stops you in your tracks. When you started with so much determination, so much drive, you know? So it's, it's yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer, okay? But, you know, it shouldn't take away from your, your pursuit here. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what the hell news or communication or energy you're getting here but just don't get stuck in the sense of ah oh, okay so then that's it i'm not doing this you know no take it as oh okay that sucks all right let's look for other options here uh for the magician in the immediate future you get the eight of cups the strength card the knight of cups you still have a lot of work to do with your heart here. You're manifesting something. The problem is you're not connected to your heart through this manifestation. And you need to have that in there too for this manifestation to come through. You know, you're manifesting something that has to do with your happiness possibly. or And for right now, you're looking like you're a little disconnected. You are working on opening up your heart more. But as you manifest, you look like you're disconnected. Um, from your heart and your manifestation needs that ingredient very important ingredient here so whatever it is you're doing here i feel like your only conclusion is hmm, how can we make this work instead of this is the opportunity for you to work on your heart and to allow it to come through whenever you know because otherwise you'll hit these snags where your heart is closed off and you won't understand why you know um, let's see what the universe has. The seven of stars, the star, the nine of wands. You've got this tendency to give up on your goals, your dreams, and all of that. And it did show up here um, in the reading too, but it, it, it almost feels like a pattern for you. Like something you really want, really desire. Ah! You know, for whatever the case, um, a lot of it surrounds a sense of self-worth, like not finding yourself that you deserve those things that you desire or want. That's why you keep on rejecting them energetically, not, not consciously, of course. You know, there's some sort of something that makes you give up on things. It's within you. So go dig. 
what it is. Go look at yourself there. Go look at what you deserve, what you think you deserve, and the things you tell yourself about not deserving things. I don't know. And you start working on that. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.